Good day folks, it's DIY Guy 123 here. Today I'm bringing you another do-it-yourself video. I've got this B7200 Kubota tractor and it's a mid-80s model and it comes with a mechanical voltage regulator. And so you have on this model an alternator and then it has a connection that runs from the positive stud to the starter terminal and then from there to the battery. And then it also has a, a voltage connection on the output of the alternator to go to the voltage regulator. <clears throat> and then on the uh, other connector on the alternator, this three wire connector, um, some of the wires run to this voltage regulator as well. And I'm not going to get into how to diagnose this. It's, uh, if you don't have a wiring diagram for your machine, it's pretty difficult to figure out where these wires all go. But just basic theory of operation is what I want to talk about in this mechanical regulator. And I've seen lots of videos on the web that talk about um, how to adjust them, but very few actually show in detail what's going on. In fact, there was one video that quite, uh, it was described pretty well, but the video wasn't zoomed in enough to know what the guy was doing. Um, so there are two solenoids on this mechanical regulator. This one, activates when the key is on and um, the voltage on the battery is lower than the voltage output from the alternator. And so this generally is on all the time that the engine's running. Now, so this one should come on. Now this one is the regulator. So that connects the alternator output to the battery, but this one regulates the voltage that is applied on the armature winding, or sorry, the field winding of the alternator. And when that voltage is zero, then the alternator doesn't put out any, any power, basically. And when the voltage is uh, high, like 12 volts, like battery voltage, then that triggers the output of the alternator to be even higher. So you can see here, I'll try and zoom in, because uh, this is what was missing in other videos I've seen. There's this very thin, piece of metal, I'll try and show you from a couple of different angles, but getting in the way of my lighting here, right? So there's this little spring type effect here, and that is connected to this part, which is the relay, and you can see how that will flex. Now as voltage is applied to this coil, it induces a magnetic field which draws this in, and that's what cuts in or out, I don't remember which is which, the, uh, the field voltage on the, on the alternator. And so, again, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember if this is in the charging mode or if this is in the charging mode, but regardless, whenever it's in charging mode, battery voltage is applied to the field winding, which causes the alternator to output high power, which charges the battery, and that will raise the battery voltage. And then when the battery voltage rises rises high enough this will cut out and so it's this back and forth motion that regulates the the battery voltage um, as you turn headlights on and hazard lights and other electrical loads the duty cycle will increase in other words it'll be charging more a, a larger percentage of the time now to adjust People talk about adjusting, you're adjusting the battery voltage. What you're really doing is adjusting the duty cycle, the amount of time that this relay is engaged versus disengaged. And I'm going to gently pry this away. I don't want to bend this piece right here, but I'm just going to gently pry this away so that you can have a better look on what it touches. It touches this piece, okay? This heavier piece of metal right here. Now, you want to adjust the voltage of the of the tractor while it's running, you should warm the tractor up, run at about 2000 RPM, so fairly high, and adjust it from there. Um, you don't adjust it at idle, because if you adjust it at idle to the proper voltage that you want, it'll end up being too high when you rev it up. So run at about 2000 RPM, check the battery voltage, and while you have a voltmeter connected to the battery, um, it helps to either have a, a second a person holding them or have alligator clip leads on your battery to to monitor the battery voltage and Basically take a pair of needle nose pliers like this. Now, I've already adjusted mine So I'm not gonna fiddle with it, but you grab this and you're gonna bend this heavy piece. You're not bending this light piece Okay, don't you I mean it's okay to move it with your finger like I was doing 
but you're you're not trying to adjust the spring pressure because using this thin piece you're adjusting it using this thick piece and that's the piece of that's the information that was missing in other videos i've also seen other people talk about adjusting the output voltage based on these contacts right here you could bend these contacts up and down i think it might have been the bottom one um, in my Kubota manual, it doesn't talk about that. It talks about bending this to adjust the voltage, but the picture in the manual was so poor, I couldn't tell what was being bent. These are contacts right in, oh, I hate lighting problems. Right between here and here, there's a contact, and between here and here, there's a contact. And those contacts make and break pretty much constantly. They, in fact, it, you don't even see it when it's adjusted properly. You can't even see that, it just vibrates. It's like a little buzz. There was carbon that had built up between those contacts, preventing this from working. And so what I did was I took fine uh, fine sandpaper, like maybe three, 400 grit, folded it in half, put it in between the contacts and dragged it out. And I did that on the top and the bottom and the same thing on this side. And now the regulator works perfectly. So right now it's running about 2,000 RPM. You can see it's charging at about 13 volts, 13.2. It's bouncing around a little bit. I just started it. But the voltage on the battery was 12 before I started it, which is no, normal, a little fine, a little low maybe. And anywhere from 12 to 14 and a half, sorry, 12 and a half to 14 and a half volts when you're running is considered normal. This battery voltage will climb as the battery is charged. It was just charged a little bit. So after, well, I've run this before, and uh, what'll happen is it'll charge up from 13, point one, two, three, four, up to about 14 volts, and then it doesn't rise any higher, regardless of how low the RPM is, or how high the RPM is, or what electrical loads are on it. So that proves that it's adjusted properly. I hope that helps clearly explain how to adjust this. And um, if you have any further feedback, please put your comments uh, down, in, down below. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.